In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the spark plugs on this 4350 with the 5.4 liter V8 engine. It's actually easiest to access these from inside the van. Let's get started. To start removing this, we want to take the cup holders out. And to do that, simply pull straight up on them. They should unclip. At this point, there are four clamps holding this cover on, two on each side, unclip them all. Simply pull up on the tabs and flip them open. Now you'll be able to pull this up and out. It might catch on the carpet, so just try to tuck that under. Now lift it and move it out of your way. Now at this point you have access to all of them the same exact way. So I'm only going to show you how to do one and that being this one right here. Take a seven millimeter socket with an extension and remove the bolt that holds the ignition coil down on the intake. You can now unplug the electrical connector for the ignition coil, the locking tab for it is underneath. Try to get in here to remove the bolt fully. Now from underneath the connector, press on the locking tab and pull the connector off. Now you can remove the ignition coil. Simply pull up on it. Sometimes they get stuck from all the heat cycles. So try to pry it, but obviously try not to break anything. There we go. That popped out. There's your ignition coil. Now drop your spark plug socket down in here with an extension. Seat it on the plug. Stick your ratchet on the end of it. Break this spark plug free. There it is. It's important to have a spark plug socket so that you can put the plug in that socket and it'll hold it on for you. That way when you put it down in the cylinder, it doesn't fall down. Any shocks could actually break the ceramic on the spark plug and of course that's going to damage it. Now thread the spark plug on just by hand to make sure it's not cross threading. Don't put any grease or any seize on the threads of the spark plug. It should already have an anti-corrosive coating from the factory. Bottom out the spark plug. That's bottomed out right there. I'm gonna take this out so we can torque it. Torque the spark plugs, if you're able to, to 13 foot-pounds. If your torque wrench does not fit in here, just do your best to get them nice and snug once they bottom out. At most, an eighth of a turn is all it takes. Remove your tool. Install your ignition coil. It's a good idea to put some silicone paste or dielectric grease on the end of it. This one already has a little bit, so I'm all set to drop it right down in, fish it right underneath the fuel rail. You wanna make sure you press it all the way down so it seats on that spark plug. That silicone paste will also help with it because it'll slide in. Carefully put the bolt back on that secures the ignition coil and tighten it up. Give it a quick snug, about an eighth of a turn after. Bottoms out is plenty tight for this. And reconnect the electrical connector. Make sure that clicks and isn't gonna pop off. At this point, you have plenty of access to do the rest of them. You just have to reach a little bit further back. And the exact same procedure applies to the other side of the engine. I always recommend replacing all of these in pairs, all eight at a time. Bring this back in. And line it up. There we go, make sure it's fully seated up against that firewall. Once you have it fully seated, you know that it is because these clips will line up. Two on the bottom, one on each side. You wanna hook them in to their latches. Latch them in. And another latch at the top here. Do the same on the other side, the same two latches. Bring in the cup holder part and it's gonna have to slide down on those three pins. Tap it in, 
As long as it's secured, you're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.